when dealing with list of data, the number of results can get so big that it needs to be listed on several pages. Here, we'll explain how to simulate this kind of behavior using the components index and summary combined with pagination action. First, we have to prepare the data grid to be able to use the pagination function. Select the product data grid and click on the property tab. In the row per page field, specify how many rows you want to feature on one page. Here, we'll put three. Drag the index component to the canvas and link it to the grid using the data grid property. The index will automatically show you the number of pages listed according to the number of row chosen. This index is dynamic and it will change during simulation if the user makes a search. Summaries show us the number of results available in all the listed pages and which value are being shown right now. Configure it like the index as the text is also dynamic. Finally, you can simulate next or previous first and last page action as the steps to follow are the same for all of them. Let's see how to simulate the next action. Drag four buttons and label them next, previous, first and last. Select the first one and click on the event tab. Choose the pagination action and click next page. The editor of expression will open. Drag the list to the first square and click OK. Click OK again and now you can simulate your prototype and check how the values of the list are changing when you click on next. You can do the same for the rest of the actions.